Wow, look at all these books. Look at these books. Oh, there's a lot of good books here. Hey, Mike Foster here. Today, this is my first episode of What Are You Reading? What You Reading? What are you reading? You know, one of my most popular videos, and I produced this video years and years ago, was called A Book a Week is All We Ask. And by we, I mean myself. And that's gotten a lot of, a lot of comments, a lot of views. And mostly, it's because people... People don't realize how much they love reading until someone says, hey, why don't you try to read a little more? And guess what? This episode um, is called What Are You Reading? And I'm going to go over some of the books that I've been reading lately and hopefully um, inspire you to read more. And then in, in the future, we're going to also look at, let's look at these books while I talk. In the future, we're also going to look at um, some of my top books that I've loved, my top authors and classics, whatever. There's a lot of books here. Um, I've been book collecting for almost 30 years, so all you guys out there who look at a collection like this and say, geez, what's this guy, a thrift store? Well, that's what my wife calls me sometimes. Anyway, if you look over here, this is, this is, this is crazy. I keep track of every book I've read, and I put down the date. I put down what I thought about it. I put down how many pages I read to make sure that I'm reading as many pages as I can. To get a book a week, you should be trying to read about, well, do the math, at least 50 pages a day, and then times seven, that's 350. One of the books I read lately was called Walk in Their Shoes, okay? Now, there was a book here. It's just it's sitting over there. So, And this was about, this was one of the greatest books I've read. This is a nonfiction book, and it talks about this guy. His name is Jim Zilokowski, how he um, gave up everything when he was in his 20s to form a, um, a company that was a nonprofit organization to build schools for kids. So for kids in areas that have no money, and he's been all around the world, and it says one person can change the world. And that person is not just Jim, that person's you. So um, that's a book that I really, really dug. Here's another one, it's called Crazy for the Storm. This one's a few years old. This is by Norman Olestad, and Norman Olestad, when he was 11 years old in 1979, him, his father, and his father's girlfriend um, got into a plane crash in the Southern California mountains, and everyone died, including the pilot, except for Norman. And it's a memoir of survival. Norman goes back um, as an adult and talks about how he grew up, how his father, through pushing him to do things that he never wanted to do, like ski and, uh, and surf, that he made him strong enough to survive that plane crash. They're going to make a movie out of it, um, directed by Sean Penn. It's going to be coming out soon. Uh, what else have I read lately? Let's take a look. No, those last two books were a couple of uh, non-fictions. You know, I've also, I read a lot of fiction. It's fun. One of my favorite authors here is Michael Conley. I've collected every single one of his books. Last one I read by him was Nine Dragons, and that's a good book. I highly recommend it. Who else have I read lately? Um, I mean, oh, I'm reading right now is a great Lauren Esselman, um, Western. This guy, uh, he, uh, you can see I've got a number of his books. He writes about Detroit crime. He writes about Westerns. Um, it's, I don't watch a lot, I don't read a lot of fantasy and stuff, I know that's big, but let me see if I get some fantasy. Jonathan Carroll's one of my favorite, uh, since, uh, f fantasists, and also I love, uh, Tim Powers. So, what do you think of the first episode of What You're Reading? Um, I would like you guys to make comments, let me know what you're reading, let me know what you'd like from me, to talk about my book collections and stuff, and talk about what I, the type of books I like, the authors I like. But the key, and I've been doing it ever since I was able to read, We're talking over 50 years, the key is reading, and I read it every day, every single day. And read all kind of genre. Read nonfiction, read fiction. And with, within all those multiple genres with fiction, you know, read, read stuff that you wouldn't even think that you'd want to read, from science fiction to crime novels to, to westerns. And for your nonfiction, read every magazine you can get your hands on and all kinds of nonfiction. Okay, get out there and read and tell me what you're reading. Until next time, peace.